Hello stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. Today I wanted to show you how I created this fabulous little background technique. See that amazing little light blue label in the background that I didn't use cardstock for. I actually just used some sponge daubering and some ink. So I'm going to show you how I created this fabulous card with those gorgeous flowers. You know I'm such a flower lover uh, whenever it comes to stamping. I just can't handle it. I just love flowers um, when, you know, when, especially when it's springy and spring is right around the corner and I'm so excited. So to create this, uh, this center white piece is actually three inches by five and a quarter inches. So I'm just going to set this aside and pull in my three inch by five and a quarter inch piece. And then I actually used the Lots of Labels framelits. So with these labels, then I created my template. And then you can always do this with any sort of uh, label image or even just an image um, like a flower or a banner or anything like that to create just that subtle little background. So after I die cut a piece of cardstock, um, you can either use cardstock or if you don't want to waste your cardstock, one of the awesome things that um, I actually used for this piece was the backing to um, the designer series paper. You know how it kind of has that cardboardy piece that um, is on the back of that that you know technically can be tossed because it's not the designer series paper, but it's like that little bit of cardboard, um, a little thicker than cardstock, but a little thinner than an actual piece of cardboard. So that is actually what I use. So I die cut my label framelit here and then now I'm just going to place it on top. So I actually created um, little guidelines on the back to make sure it was nice and centered. So hopefully my measurements um, are still holding true. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of, um, this is post-it note tape. So I'm just going to place that right there to make sure that my um, my mask and my cardstock don't actually move on me whenever I go to ink it up. So I have some Soft Sky ink, which I went with a very um, light pastel color because I wanted it to just be a nice little like um, background shadow and background piece. I didn't want it to be super bold to take away from the flowers. So I'm just going to take my little sponge dauber, tap it in the Soft Sky, and then just start rubbing it around. can see how it's nice and blue. Of course, the more times you go over it, uh, the darker it will get. So you can kind of go, um, you know, lighter or darker based on your preference. And of course, be sure to get next to the edges really well. And then of course, in the center, I sort of do a little bit of a swirl technique as well as a swiping back and forth technique. So now we're just going to take this off of our template, which we can of course use for many other projects as well. So it's not a, a one-time use template. And then now you have that fabulous look, which I just realized that I centered this one on the piece up and down. Therefore, I didn't leave as much room um, down on the bottom for my greeting. So let me tell you, I'm not the best when it comes to measurements and, um, and math. And I swear I've spent way too much time trying to find the center to get it nice and easy. And, um, and I've failed again. <laughs> So anyway, it is nice and centered, um, but I forgot about the greeting and the ribbon on the bottom. Um, so it's not really nice. It's just centered. <laughs> so then for the focal point here, I actually use the Celebration stamp set, Lots of Lavender. I love this stamp set because you can stamp this image and then color it in, or you can fill it in with the um, stamped pieces. So this is the bottom um, of the stems, the ribbon, um, the greenery pieces, and of course that center lavender. So I went with a basic gray for the outline and then I used uh, Elegant Eggplant 
garden green and crushed curry uh, for my colors there. So that just looks super fabulous. Of course you can go with any colors. Then I layered this onto some elegant eggplant and just ripped the sides um, just for a little bit of texture. And then I added some of that awesome copper ribbon. So this ribbon, um, actually it looks really like skinny and kind of simple, but um, still coppery um, whenever it comes on the spool. But you can actually like pull it sideways and get it to like kind of be like a meshy outline stuff. So um, it's kind of fun to be able to use. Now don't pull tight again or otherwise it will go, um, it'll go skinny again. But see how it's all like wide and meshy looking and sort of crumpled and rustic. Now of course you can always um, pull it tight again and, um, and then now it's you know, it's small and tight. So if you want to try it out and see if you like it, then you can, and then you can always fix it by pulling it tight again if you don't like it. So uh, no worries there, but I sort of um, did that and then just added a piece going side to side here and then made a little bitty bow and used a mini glue dot to, um, to adhere that down. The greeting is actually from the Petal Palette stamp set, which has lots of amazing greetings. So uh, that's this stamp set here here and I used the thank you greeting right there. Um, so lots of great options for greetings in the Petal Palette stamp set which is from the Occasions mini catalog. So that's uh, a fun little tutorial on using your framelits and adding sort of a layer, if you want to call it, um, to your project without actually adding, you know, a lot of um, a lot of extra bulk or um, extra adhesive or anything like that. So super fun. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below what you um, would do on the top of it. Would you do flowers like I did? Would you do another style of image? Would you just do the greeting on top of that um, amazing? background so let me know so I can get some awesome ideas for um, some more projects using this same technique. Don't forget that I'll be posting pictures of these on my blog laurastamppad.com so you can check that out there. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new by clicking over here and check out some of my other video tutorials over here. Don't forget celebration ends on March 31st so you want to make sure that you get those freebies as soon as possible with every $50 order. Of course at $75 you get my free stamp set of the month, which is super fun too. I'll see you all next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.